All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to talk about what did I learn for being a software developer for the past five years. And I'm gonna start, first of all, with the junior developers getting into the industry. So I've worked in plenty of different companies before, and I've seen this going over and over again, which is uh, uh, usually junior developers, they think that they need to have an extensive uh, uh, knowledge in order to get that first job. And, and this is not true because when you're going to start a new job, people, they are going to be very friendly with you. They are going to be very supportive. They are going to help you with anything that you have to do. And you will have to learn a lot in the job itself. When you are at home by yourself, just like learning from tutorials and whatever, um, you're not going to have the same skills like when you are actually working in a company because that's where you are going to learn really a lot. Don't focus too much in thinking that you need to know everything, that uh, you're going to go into a job, they're going to ask you to do something and you don't have any idea. The most difficult jobs, the most difficult tasks, they are going to be given to senior developers. So that's not going to come nothing to you. So I would say that the, the biggest skill that you could have is really try to be as friendly as pro possible, try to show your character in the interviews, Try to tell them that you really want to learn and become a better developer. If you are doing stuff outside of your job, let's say I was working before in a, in a coffee shop when I got started as a web developer. And uh, I would say that the best thing for you to show them is really that you want to get into the industry. You really want to learn this. Show them stuff that you have done. Maybe if you have created some blog posts, I tell people all the time to create some YouTube videos as well. It's a, it's a well-documented journey that you can show in an interview. Look, this is what I've been doing for the past six months or one year. Um, this really shows that you, you really want to work in there. Uh, so I would say, is, is really about like your social skills and the way that you present yourself. And of course, you need to have a bit of skills, but don't worry because if you get a job and even if you don't have enough skills to do the job, there's going to be a lot of support and uh, you're, going to be, you're going to be okay with that. All right, so the next thing is you can't become good at something like really fast. A lot of people ask me on the comments in here, can I become good at JavaScript just in three months or on six months? Or how long does it take for me to learn React to become really good? And of course, every person is going to be different. Some people, they will learn a bit faster. Some people, they will take a bit more time to learn. But I, I think that the, the key in here really is consistency. When you are learning something new, the more time that you put onto it, the more days that you work on it, um, you will become better. There is a saying like that in order for you to become a master of something, you need to dedicate a minimum of like 1000 hours. So you, you do the math. For to, to become good at JavaScript, it depends on how many hours you apply every single day. So if you apply, let's say, eight hours a day or two hours a day, you need to do the maths to see how long does it take for you to become good at it. But there are things that is, is really just time. You really need the time in order for you to become good at something. That's why you don't see senior developers with one year of experience or two years of experience. Okay, the next thing that I have in here on my list is, is much better to be a specialist rather than a generalist. And I'm gonna talk about some of my experience from before. When I was trying to get into my first few jobs, I was like, I was trying to be a generalist, I was like, Oh, maybe I, I should be, uh, uh, maybe I should learn PHP or maybe I should learn C Sharp or maybe I should learn Java. I was trying to jump from programming language to programming language and I was never going to become good at any one of them because I was not spending enough time in any of them. I was learning a bit of PHP, then I was going to C Sharp and then I was just confusing everything and I was like, Oh, next time that some job offer will come, maybe if I know a bit of PHP, maybe I can get a job in there. And this is just like the worst thing possible that you can do because in order for you to become good at one programming language, you really need to focus all your, your attention, all your you need to dedicate all your time into that until you actually become really good at that. And I'm just gonna give you this example because if someone needs some help, let's say with um, PHP, they're probably not going to come to me and say, oh, Telmo knows a bit, a bit of PHP. 
No, they are going to go to someone who is actually a specialist in that. And this applies for anything. For you to try to get a job, maybe for you to try to do some freelancing. It's much better to be known as the guy who is the specialist in this kind of uh, field because maybe they need you for freelancing, maybe they need you for a job or whatever, rather than be that guy that is just mediocre on a bit of PHP, a bit of C Sharp and so on. So that's really my, my opinion in hearing this from the past five years that I've been learning. All right, so my list is almost done and the next one that I have in here is really for you to try to help other people that they are trying to learn as well. Once you learn a new concept, let's say you are learning something in JavaScript about functions or about objects or whatever, if you have the opportunity to help other people, maybe let's say you, some of your friends or your neighbors or whatever that they are also trying to learn, this could be in person, this could be by writing blogs, this could be by, uh, I don't know, just trying to really help other people with questions maybe on Stack Overflow and so on. When you are trying to explain a certain topic to someone else, you are going to question yourself like, do I really understand what's going on in here? Do I really know what am I talking about in here? And this will make you do a bit more research. This will make you really try to understand the concept really well before you, you actually teach it to someone else. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm, I'm currently now, um, by the time of this video, I'm still working now as a, as a bootcamp instructor. This is actually my last week because I just got a new job as a software engineer. But I'm gonna tell you that this job in here of being a bootcamp instructor to teach other people how to code has been one of the best things in my life, which actually helped help me really like in, in becoming a better developer, in learning the concepts really well so I understand what I'm doing. And I would advise this to everyone, even if you are just starting out, if you learn something new, teach it to someone else because this is gonna be a really great way for you to get that knowledge for yourself. And you will see that uh, this is what senior developers, they do all the time. They mentor, they help, they give support to junior developers. And they, they are able to do that because they really know the concepts of it. And the last thing that I have in here is really just for you to, to enjoy life. Um, so, for example, today it's, it's actually my birthday. If you actually watch the video until here, let me know in here in the comments. It's my birthday today and I just look back into my life. And the thing is like most of us, when we are just like in this journey of learning something new, um, we don't enjoy life so much because we feel like we are in a kind of society that we feel like that we should be learning or we should be working, we should be doing a lot of stuff every single day. And when we are, for example, just going for a walk or maybe we are just watching some TV, playing some games or doing whatever you want, we always have this kind of feel uh, of guilt, like, oh, maybe I, I shouldn't be watching these or maybe I shouldn't be playing these or maybe I shouldn't be doing, maybe I should be working instead. And, and like this, we are not actually enjoying our life like the fullest because I'm sure that you guys have this kind of feeling as well. Like we, we got into this routine every single day. Like you wake up, you go to work. And then when you are coming after work, you are so tired. You are just relaxing a bit. And then you, you feel guilty because you, you feel like you should be doing something or working on your coding or doing whatever. The time just goes by and the one year passes, two year passes and that's why people they just think that uh, oh my god, times just pass so fast and the time passes so fast because you are doing the same things over, over and over again. You are, you are not breaking your routine. So I would say in here guys from, from what I've been learning from the past few years is, is that really try to break out your routine and uh, just try to enjoy life. Maybe some days, just like take, put on your calendar like, today I'm not gonna do anything. Today I'm just gonna relax, okay? And, uh, and just do nothing. Just do whatever you can. Just give yourself permission to that. Like, okay, I'm just gonna watch something today. I'm just gonna do whatever I want. If you have some hobbies, if you have other stuff that you want to do, just do it. 
And then you say, okay, the next day, I'm actually gonna work on, I'm actually gonna do something. And I know that it's difficult to get started because that's the most difficult part when you actually have to do something and you are always delaying on to the next day. The best trick that you have to do in here is really like, okay, I'm just gonna do five minutes of it and then I'm gonna stop or maybe like 10 minutes. And when you do that, this happens to me all the time and I've, I've told this trick to other people. When you start to do this by like five minutes or 10 minutes, when the time passes, you are like, okay, if I've done five minutes of these or 10 minutes, whatever is the time that you put, maybe I can do a bit more. And most of the times, these will like, five minutes will turn into 10, will turn into 15 minutes, will turn into half an hour, will turn into one hour, let's say. And which is amazing. And don't over underestimate the, the small little steps that you do every day. Even if every day you just do some work of like five minutes, 10, 15, half an hour or whatever, after one week, after one month, this will be a lot of stuff that you have done already. All right, guys, so that is really it for this video of today. This is actually my first video of the year. Uh, I have lots of different plans in here for the channel for this year. I want to build a lot more tutorials. Um, and if you have any ideas or anything, always let me know in the comments down below. I'm always looking for new ideas for the videos. And that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.